So today we're going to talk about a few things like uh, can message logging and uh, can view from Copley and can king from Kvasser. Um And so, and we're going to touch on cantegrity a little bit too. So basically uh, I have a drive here that's configured to run a motor and a, I'm doing some CAN communication from a master. Maybe it's CMO or CML or some other CAN open master. But it, this would be the last node on the network. And I have a terminator 120 ohms at the end of the network. And this is the Copley USB to CAN adapter, which has a jumper for termination at this end of the network. I mean, it could be 40 drives, 127 nodes, whatever. but uh, Terminator at the beginning and end of the network. Um, this is also the Copley serial adapter, which we can use through the serial port uh, here. Um, and uh, this is a USB to serial adapter, SCR-USB-RJ11. I have a Rev01 here, which is for Windows 10 or 11, so that's cool. So I can monitor over the serial port with CME while the master is running. That's cool. But let's say I want to do a CAN log or do some CAN integrity uh, or monitor with my Kvasser. This is the uh, U100 Kvasser uh, leaf, leaf light kind of adapter. Um, so in order to get the Kvasser to monitor, I need to have a terminator, so I put in this uh, Kvasser part here, uh, 00801-4, which is a 120 ohm terminator for the this end of the network. And I'm going to remove the terminator at the last node and plug in the CAN adapter from Kvasser to the last node with the terminator. So beginning of a network terminator, end of network terminator, we got a good CAN network. And let's show the software and how we might use it. Okay, so I could use CME over the serial port, but I'm going to use it over the CAN port because I'm not running a CMO or CML or some other CAN master. So just to give us the idea, um, I'm going to go to Tools, Communication Wizard, and I'm going to use the CAN port instead of the serial port. And I've got a Copley adapter connected or a Kvasser. Uh, channel zero Copley frequency one megabit. There's an option for 800 kilobits for the Copley. I think we'll add that for the Kvasser soon, but I'm going to connect. Uh, the drive has a node address of three. It's this, I use the switch, so now, now we can find it on the network. And uh, we're gathering data here on the control panel. And so we're communicating. Um, I'm going to do on the Kvasser. Uh, I got a one megabit Copley system. There's a 500 kilobit. I don't see the 800 kilobit here, but uh, we can ask them to add this um, for a specific customer. That should not be a problem. But I'm going to go on bus, and you can see the data we're gathering is from the network, and uh, these are in a format, and there's some filters. Can King is, is pretty cool uh, with the Kvasser, and so I'm... I'm using CME as like a master to send CAN commands, and I'm using the Kvasser as the tool for monitoring the CAN messages. Um, of course, uh, Copley has the ability to monitor messages too, and for motion control, the DS402, um, we can see uh, the message types, and there's something funny here with the type current inside the device. So I don't know, that's something we can look up uh, in, in the drive. Maybe there's like an error. Um, so anyways, just want to show can view along with can king, depending on whether you have a Copley or a Kvasser adapter, two different softwares for gathering messages. Um, we, yeah, we can see that there's an error here, but that's like a drive error. Uh, you can see with the Kvasser, I got the total number of messages uh, per second, and the frame errors is zero. 
it's always good to have zero frame errors. If you move, remove the terminators, you'll get a whole bunch of frame errors. It might work, but that's, you know, not good to not have terminators. So just because it's functions doesn't mean it's good. Um, so we're going to we're going to um, pivot over to the Cantegrity here for a moment. So uh, Kvasser has some pretty cool uh, tools for doing the integrity of a CAN network. And uh, the CAN King is free. The Cantegrity is some software that I suppose you have to write some of it with your master. But we'll take a look at the PDF here. Uh, how the receiver finds the bits in the CAN frame. I mean, that's pretty amazing, right? It checks the bits of the frames. So um, this is like way beyond a CAN message here. This is actually like looking at the timing bits, uh, drifting locations of TQ samples. I mean, there it is, right? Like this is more than just a stuffing error. This is like, where is the bit sampled? Um, and a bit more blah 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 so you know these are tools that are in, designed to work with the system designer and developer to can to check the integrity or can integrity uh, of the network so i'm going to show just a little bit of a clip here that i've got uh the engineers at uh, kvasser put this together but you know there's a a couple of uh virtual drives, adapters, uh, and one for monitoring, and this is 250 kilobit, but check this out about the bit timing. I believe we can show here the data in more of a timing format. Look at that. The actual timing of the hand frames that are coming in, and I can look at different hand frames, look at the timing for different hand frames. Okay, so thanks, Brian, for that video. Uh, that's pretty awesome. Um, you can see it on their web page here. Uh, they got a nice video that shows uh, Cantegrity and, and uh, Can King. Um, I'm not exactly sure how all the software works, but it's a very powerful tool for the bit timing. Uh, normally, we don't get into worrying about the bit timing. We just plug it in and it all works. But, you know, you could be messing with the system uh, bit timing uh, as, a, as a master. And uh, then we have to get in and really look at the details here. So. Uh, this is definitely a higher level of uh, CAN bit timing mapping, um, so that's it's a it's a good thing to learn about the CAN integrity. Um, but again, you know, I'm just going to use the the normal software. We're going to make CAN log messages. We're going to read through the messages and figure out like, hey, you got frame errors, you know. Did it put a terminator in here? Is everything at one megabit? And, uh, you know, uh, keep everything working. Okay, so thanks for watching and uh, talk to you later.